What the heck just happened? <laughs> okay, don't hit the movable barriers at the track because apparently it flips your car. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Revhead, and today we are going to be partying out our Wanja. You're probably saying to yourself, but Komodo, you just built this thing last episode. And yes, it's ugly, it handles like my grandma's car, it's about as fast as her car too. And overall, I'm just not happy with it. Now, in theory, you should just be able to just sell this thing and get the full value, but that's not the way Revhead works. Uh, if any of you have played it, you know you need to go in, strip all the parts, and then sell them off individually. Now luckily, this car is pretty much in new shape. I've repaired most parts. Uh, we've got an inline six in here. I've got quite a few decent parts. I think I'm gonna keep some of it. Uh, maybe some of the generic parts that I can use on other cars. But we're gonna make some money because I want to buy and or build a fast car. Maybe something off-road. Not sure yet. I haven't looked at the paper yet, so we're gonna go check that out here in a second. But yeah, I'm gonna park this thing out. Now, do remember, if you've missed any episodes of Revhead, I will have the playlist down in the description, so if you want to check any of those out, if you're a little lost as to what's happening right now. So, let's go ahead and strip this bad boy. Alright, she is stripped, she's ready to go. Yeah, we're only at $810 for it. You know, and it's kind of bad because the body's in good shape and it's got a new paint job on it. Uh, granted, the paint job is horrendous looking, but... Yeah, let's go ahead and sell that. Now, it's time to go look at the paper. Actually, you know what? First... Let's sell some parts. We need to have a good amount of money so when we go to the paper, we don't feel bad about making purchases that might be questionable. So, let's go see. That inline six motor, uh, how much is that thing even worth is the question. Actually, I've got, I'm just going through all my parts. I've got a lot of stuff here. Uh, here's the motor. Uh, only 4200 You know, I don't even remember how much we paid for the car. Uh, we might be losing a bit of money here. So I'm going to go through this, uh, there's a couple worn out parts, a couple things that I really should probably get rid of. Uh, we're going to do that, and then we're going to head over to the paper. Look at the amount of fuse boxes I have. Uh, we could probably get rid of a couple of these things. Let's get rid of those. About 25000 so far. Is there anything else high value that I can get rid of that I don't want? Uh, no, I better hold on to pretty much everything else. There's a couple little things here, broken. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and check out the paper real quick. And here we go. Alright, now we're talking. We've got a Narnu off-road racer. We're a couple thousand short for that. Uh, Jingus. I keep calling these trucks, and somebody said they're not called trucks in Australia. They're called UTEs, I believe. Um, not, I can't confirm that, but I believe that's what they're called. Let's see, there's a Wanja drag racer. Uh, down here, there's a drag car wreck. That's the first time I've seen that. You know, I need to grab that. Okay, we're gonna take that. I wanna grab something else. I really should be grabbing a couple more of these crash cars and stripping them, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, yeah, there's gonna be a... Oh, our lot's full already. So yeah, let me go ahead. We're gonna look at what we have so far, and then we'll look at maybe purchasing one of these more higher-priced cars. Uh, because I want to buy into something that is a purpose-built race car. I tell you what, look at this thing. That is a glorious looking car. I kind of want to fix this up. I'm, I'm a little afraid to look under the hood. It was wrecked, but what is it missing? Huh. Not bad. You know what, I bet you I have a lot of this. Probably don't have the drag tires. Uh, let's see, they're worn out too. That's the first time. You know, every wrecked car that I've bought, the tires are actually new, but this is the first time they're actually not new. Let's see, you've got a suspension here. A lot of this is worn out. I kind of want to fix this car up. I like this. Uh, what's the motor here? It is a, let's see, 482 horsepower. It's broken. Oh my, everything's broken about this car. It's a nice car, but yeah. Uh, the supercharger looks really big on it. It's broken too. <laughs> okay, you know, I want a drag car like this, but this thing might be broken beyond repair. There's gonna be a lot of stuff that needs to be replaced. I mean, just in the motor itself, you can see broken, 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 broken. The water pump's new. I mean, there's that. 
Uh, let's fix it, remove it. Yeah, it's kind of one of those things where you want to buy something like this, or you want to build something like this, but you don't know how much you're going to use it, and you don't know how much you want to invest in it. So I'm going to remove the parts out of this thing. I'm thinking today we need to find some sort of off-road racer. Uh, that way we can really start to go around the terrain, and I want to play around in it instead of being stuck to the roads. All right, it was nice knowing you. We're still going to get a 1000 for this one, so let's go ahead and sell it. Uh, let's go ahead and pull in the other wrecked vehicle we bought. It's a Wanger here. And, oh, this thing is really bad. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this up on the lift and see exactly what's missing out of this one. Oh, you know what? Not much. Uh, it's still got the inline six motor over here. Uh, it's not terrible. I'm not going to worry about fixing this car up. I don't like these cars, actually. These just, they don't look racy. Uh, it's one of those things you can just continue to polish a turd, but it's ultimately, it's still a turd. I know it's probably a bad analogy to say with this, but I just don't like the style of this vehicle. And even if it's in a race form, off-road form, uh, drag form, it's just, it does nothing for me. So, this is definitely going to be a strip and sell. And then we're going to see what we can do with all the parts, because I do need to do a little bit of a clean out of the parts that I have currently right now. So, let me remove everything from this. I know uh, still is a little bit of debate about if you guys want to see me strip the whole car, but I still think a lot of it is just me doing nothing, so we will continue to skip through it for now. Alright, this thing is stripped and ready to go. It's $420. Okay, it's time to make some money. So, I'm going to go through all my parts list again, and we're going to start getting rid of some stuff. Even some of the stuff that I've been hoarding that's new and I don't necessarily want to get rid of, but I'm going to do it anyways. So, I'm going to do a bit of cleaning. Let's go look at those motors real quick and just see what we made off of those. Because that's uh, where you're going to make majority of your money. Alright, we have $10,000 worth of motors here, so let's go ahead and sell these off real quick. Uh, I'm trying to take advantage of this as much as possible because they've been patching the game quite a bit recently. And I'm really afraid that they are going to uh, maybe lower some of the values of how you can do this and how it feels like we're ultimately ripping off the game a bit. So, let's do that. We've got a couple range of gearboxes here. That's a worn out one. I'm going to sell a lot of my uh, parts that I have too many of, like the fuse boxes. So let's get rid of some of those. Uh, I'm going to go through and I'll just clean this out real quick and then we'll wrap around and see how much money we have. And then we'll look into actually investing into a car and going out and doing some driving. Alright, so I got rid of majority of my Wanger parts and we are at 36000 now. So let's go into the paper and look and see what we can purchase here. There's a Narnu Off-Road Racer. Hmm. I'm really tempted to do that. I do have an Off-Roader or a Narnu on the lot. Uh, that was built, I think, the second or third episode. Um, you know, this is a racer, so it's got a good motor in it. It's got the Off-Road. Everything should be good to go on this. Let's see if, uh, what the information says about it. It's used, so maybe it might need a little bit of fixing up. But I think this is the direction we're going to go in. So we're going to purchase that... Is there any more wrecked cars that I can go ahead and purchase and have on the lot to strip later? Nope, doesn't look like it. So, let's go ahead and check out our new buy here. And, oh, it's kind of weird because you got like a blue one and a red one. Our red one, what's the motor in it? It's the NRX V8. Uh, what's in here? NRX V8, it's the same motor. Question is, what's different on the inside? I'm assuming the suspension and all that's probably a lot more... Uh, expensive and fixed up than our in our previous one so let's go ahead and select this one and bring it to the shop and check it out real quick before we uh take it out for a drive all right we're putting it up on the lift let's go ahead and do a little check over real quick see if there's anything that needs to be replaced fixed uh a whole new engine everything's new in there that's good to go uh what is this up here this is its supercharger you know what can we throw one of the big ones on there let's go ahead and see if we can uh See if we can put a big supercharger. Uh, the tower. There we go. Let's install that bad boy. I don't even know. How can you even see out the window with that? Uh, what does that look like just sitting there? Oh, that's ridiculous. Okay. I'm in love. I like this a lot. So we've got that. Uh, the suspension. It's got tires. Everything looks to be new on this thing. Uh, let's see. Uh, a little bit. I don't know, understand. I think that's a bug. It says I can fix the suspension for zero. And it's at 100%, so we'll go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and check over the back parts here. Same with these. 
Huh, that's weird. Uh, what kind of dash do we have in here? You know, let's remove this. I believe I have a racing dash somewhere. So let's go ahead and upgrade that real quick. Go in. There we go. Install. There we go. Okay, so we have a racing dash in there. So supposedly this is a racer. Uh, let's see. What type of uh, horsepower are we dealing with engine-wise? Only 235. I wonder if we can stick a bigger motor in here. That's like my one question. I need to find a bigger motor. Uh, let's see. Do I want to check the paper real quick? Let's give it a brief glance and see what's available in the motor department. Uh, there's one of those NX V8 engine. Let's see. Anything that really catches my eye here that would be awesome to have in there? There's some new engines. Hmm. Let's see. I'm going to debate on this one. Yeah, there's nothing that I really seen here that's catching my eye. Apparently, I've been selling a really high-powered motor, and I've done it twice so far. Uh, I need to kind of be a little bit more careful about the motors that I am selling. Uh, so, I don't see anything that's catching my eye here so far. So, we're going to take this thing out for a spin. Let's go ahead and drop it off the lift. Uh, do our basic checks. Uh, let's see, tires looks good. Oil, let's go ahead and make sure we got race oil in there. Uh, water looks good. Let's go ahead and wash her up. I think that was okay too. Any body damage? Nope. And paint. I'm questioning, what do we want to do with paint? Uh, let's go with something a little bit different. Let's go with a, uh, could do channel colors again, but I'm gonna go with the black. Uh, let's see, secondary colors. What's this? Ooh, you know what? I think I like that. Let's, uh, take this off here. Uh, take that back. I don't like that. Let's go with skunk stripes. There we go. All of our cars are gonna look just the same. They're gonna be black with the, the white skunk stripes. Alright, so I'm liking that. Let's paint it, and let's go take this bad boy out and see how she handles. Okay, so there's some sort of desert thing that's opened up here. This, I don't believe, was opened up last episode, so this might be somewhere... Either this is a new racetrack, or we've got a big off-road area to go around in. Actually, this is a racetrack. Alright, so I guess we're going straight into a time trial here in the desert. Uh, let's see. I saw you at the backyard racing. You up for a race? Uh, ooh, I'm not really sure. Uh, this car doesn't have the most power, but this looks like it's an off-road track, so hopefully the, uh, hopefully the off-roadness of the car will actually make it to where I can, uh, do a decent time. Let's go for bronze just for now, and let's go ahead and throw in a thousand here, and we'll see what we can do, and oh, it looks like a sandstorm out here. Alright, come on. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and shift. This one's got a really short first gear, second gear short. You know, this thing's not bad. I tell you what, it's actually stable in the sand here, even though I can hardly see. It's so sandy. Okay, let's see. Oh, I got a left here. I don't know this track at all. I'm kind of looking at the uh, track map in the bottom left. Uh, this is a little bit better than the backyard. I like that it's actually got a shape other than an oval, so... Got that. It's got some uh, rocks here all over the place. Kind of curious, is it constantly dusty like this? Or I, constantly, I guess, a sandstorm is what I should say. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, so that's good. Try to log in a good time here. I'm trying to listen in. I uh, When I play, I have my headphones on, so it's kind of hard. I don't always look down at the gauge, so I'm trying to listen to where the, uh, where the engine sounds like it needs to be shifted. So if I need a downshift to grab some... Uh, more acceleration or if I need a upshift I'm trying not to uh, burn up the motor here so yeah this is actually working pretty good I'm I'm really happy with this car it doesn't slide around a lot like my other cars but obviously uh, my other cars that I've tried to race have been street cars opposed to the off-road car here so this is definitely a lot better uh, I haven't checked our time uh, actually our last time was really pretty good uh, looks like we're gonna get silver. Oh no! Oh no! Don't fall off! Alright, let's grab a gear here. We might need to grab two gears. Oh. Alright, that was a little too much there. Uh, I like this. This is kind of cool now that they've, uh, they've really switched it up with the tracks. I'm just curious if this sandstorm is constantly here. Or whatever's happening. Maybe it's just windy. Alright, we're coming around to our last lap here. Uh, I'm trying to get a time under the... Silver or the bronze? I don't think I can touch gold right now. This car is just not fast enough. I do need to see if I can swap out the motors or just pick up some more speed with this thing. Or maybe we truly do need to do an off-road muscle car. And up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. 
Yeah, I'm gonna really have to turn up my game volume. Uh, this game has had some inconsistent volumes. I, I'm trying to listen to this gear shifting. I think I'm doing a pretty decent job at it right now. Uh, it's kind of hard also sometimes for me to focus on the RPM gauge. So yeah, here we go. We're gonna swing around to the right checkpoint time, 34 seconds. And I got a left-hander. I really do actually like this track, but I do believe I might go grab my muscle car and give it a go because I don't think we're gonna do very good on our times here. So here we go. I got another left-hander. Uh, trying to keep it tight. Trying to keep it wound up. It's just not working right here. All right, here we go. Coming down the final straight. And there we go. Race finished. Okay, so apparently our first lap was worth the bronze. Shouldn't we have gotten silver with the 113? Okay. Uh, I don't know what's happening there. All right, well, we won $2,000, but I still feel like we could do better than that. I'm a little confused by these times, but uh, we'll see. Let's go grab that muscle car real quick. Okay, just because I hate myself, we're going to go ahead and take this car out. We're going to take the muscle car out to the same track and run that race one more time. I understand the muscle car is going to be a lot more sideways, but that muscle car has got some mighty straightaway speed. So, I'm going to go for the silver time and bet 2,000. All right, this either is going to be the biggest mistake that I've ever made or this is going to work actually really well. So, it definitely got the uh, a lot more speed uh, than the big, I guess it's the Narnu. Oh, but definitely the handling's not quite there. You know, I'm still debating, and I kind of kicked myself in the rear end for not finishing the off-road muscle car that we were going to try to do. Uh, and I kind of feel like that, oh, that might have been a good thing. Wait, you see how much speed we were able to carry off the wall there? It's like it didn't even slow us down one bit. Oh, yeah, we're definitely cruising here. It's just there's a lot of counter steering going on right now. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and shift here. It's a pretty tricky right-hander right here. So let's go ahead and grab a gear, try to keep it wound up, and we're probably going to grab another gear here. Let's go down, see if we can try not to hit the outside wall. It's just not turning. There it goes. All right, shift. Yeah, that, uh, that time's going to be really hard to get. So you're going to have to have, like, probably the fastest off-road racer in order to get that gold. Uh, trying for the silver at least, because I don't want to lose any money here. We're going to be really close here at the line. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, we got the silver. Okay, so we're good there. Uh, gold, we're talking, that's a very big pickup that I'm going to need for that. So it's probably not worth it. I'm trying to figure out if it's even worth it to run the rest of the laps. Uh, instead of just maybe putting around and avoiding destroying our car. And I'm going to try to find a couple more tricks here about this track. And then maybe on that last lap, if I can figure something out, we might try to make a run at gold, but I just don't see me picking up that much time because that's a lot of time here to pick up. All right, I don't know if this is worth it. We just clipped the wall slightly and I made a pretty big ding in the car, but uh, I don't know, we'll see here. Come on, come on. We might be in too high of a gear here. Just, it sounds like it's bogging down. It sounds like there's something actually wrong with the car. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to have to abort this lap because this is not going to turn out well for the car. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Yeah, yeah, we're going to pull off here. This is a, uh, this is definitely not good. Uh, i tell you what, this was probably not worth uh, doing. The silver is nice, but the car is really backfiring now, so something's wrong with it. So let's go ahead and finish the race up here. Oh, yeah, we won $4,000, but what did we do to the car in the process? So let's go ahead and continue. Uh, we did unlock the race, so we're probably going to grab the off-road racer and try it real quick, but question is, what's wrong here? Whoa, that was a lot more damage than I really thought it was. Uh, I kind of clipped one of the walls, uh, and I just barely caught the rear end, but apparently I caught the front end, so I basically slapped the whole right side. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. And the uh, motor was backfiring, too, and I'm not really sure... There's a uh, there's damage here. So what is it? About four hundred dollars worth of damage there to the motor. What's the body like? We're probably gonna put this car away. Let's go and check body damage really quick. Uh, how much is this gonna cost us? Uh, eighty-five dollars for that much damage. Okay, that's uh that's a little strange, but yeah, I'll take it. All right, we're gonna go park this. We're gonna do one more race here, folks. Uh, we're gonna actually. 
uh, go grab our off-roader again, our new one, and then we're going to take it back out to the desert track and run one more race here. All right, here we go. It is time to race. Let's go ahead and click this. A lot of times you'll see a glimpse of your opponents, and it just says go for it. Uh-oh. Did we break the game? Oh, here we go. Okay, pick an entry fee. The higher the fee, the more money you can win. 4,000. How lucky am I feeling right now? 4,000. You know what? We're feeling lucky. Oh, boy. I really hope I don't regret that. Uh-oh. I might be regretting that. Uh, that whale looks... Oh, well, it did look fast. It had some pickup on it. Uh, let's see how we are. Yeah, this car just isn't quite as fast, but it takes this track with ease because of the handling. Yeah, we're gonna pull away from our competition here. How many laps is this? Three laps around here? This is gonna be a fairly long race. Uh, I might have to cut a little bit of it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's pretty much the same track. We're just gonna smoke the competition here, apparently. Uh, since they can't keep up. I don't know if there's a difficulty level adjuster or something, because I would like a little bit more competition during the actual races themselves. Because, uh, they're really slow right now. What the heck just happened? <laughs> okay, don't hit the movable barriers at the track, because apparently it flips your car. Uh, question is, did that destroy anything? I guess not. Okay, well, I guess we're going to continue on there. Uh, now I'm kind of curious what happens when you hit a cone. Hopefully it doesn't do the same thing. Alright, we're on our final lap here, and we are about to lap two of the Whalers. Uh, they are just kind of easing along here. Let's go ahead and pass on the li What the heck is going on here? Okay, there's been some strange stuff going on during this race. I got to watch what I hit. Seems like even the little bumps here are wanting to flip the car, so, oh, 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 car's got a horn on it. The heck did I not know about that? All right, let's see, I can just tell my competition to move out of the way. I'm just trying not to crash again. Uh, there's been some really strange stuff happening. Oh, 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 oh no, counter steer, there we go. And we're coming down the home stretch, and we've already lapped the whole field, so, yeah, that's kind of strange, but anyways, we're gonna win a lot of money here. That should be good. $10,000 gold. Okay. Definitely. Really? I just got ran into after the race. He wasn't happy about me uh, lapping him there. All right. All right. Well, we've got one more race that we can do. I think I'm going to save that for later. I want to go ahead and just look at the car real quick. Uh, yeah, you're doing well with your racing. You're making this pit better than ever. Here's some help for you. What's that? Was that money? Did I gain even more money? I don't know. You gave me something. I'm going to assume that was more money. But anyways, folks, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of RevHead. If you have any suggestions, comment below. Let me know what you want to see here. Uh, we're going to do some more races, buy some more cars. I'm going to try not to sell off uh, the engine that you guys have been saying that I've been selling off. I think it's like a 591 horsepower motor, and I don't think I saw that today. So I need to check into that. But anyways, thanks for all the support on the RevHead series. If you like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. And we will see you guys next time. Thank you.